Well, here we go then. Is that? Is that Mussolini? Right, that's right, it's the time you guys have all been waiting. No, has anybody been wait, waiting for this? I know it's a new paradox in game and all, but how many people are that interested in Rome? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I stirred up quite a bit of interest after my EU Rome episode. But yeah, welcome to the mystical world of Imperator Rome, where we go back in time to guess what era? Yeah, but obviously it is the latest Paradox game and it will really be showing us what the, the future of Paradox games really are going to be. So of course I, I'm still interested in checking it out despite not really being particularly interested in the era. Oh wow, leader of Albania. Got a pretty goddamn good hat. So yes, this is Imperator Rome. I haven't really 100% decided on who I'll be playing as for my first ever game, but I think I'll be trying out a couple different people. Would it be too much of a meme to play in India? Because I, I guarantee, who the hell wants to play in India? No offense to uh, uh, India or anything, but I just, I, <laughs> like, I've got this Seleucid Empire right next to you. Why would I want to play as Moria? Yeah. Uh, this is kind of like a Where's Waldo uh, kind of deal going on, because there's just so many random nations just like out of nowhere like look at these guys down here I don't even know what to do with these guys but you know what obviously it is my first game I have no idea how to play so I think it, it probably makes sense that we go ahead and we do Publius Semprionius Sophos of Rome okay first issue why does the UI feel so big I, I, it kind of feels like this is supposed to be for a smaller monitor. Okay, which way here is uh, the correct way? Okay, <laughs> that didn't help at all, did it? I, I'm struggling to actually find like a sweet spot for- How is this my first issue? <laughs> okay, screw it, whatever, we'll play like this. Let's get into the game! Oh god, they uh, they still have omens in the game. I'm getting slight PTSD from when we played EU Rome, honestly. But yeah, obviously so far I can say I, I really do enjoy the map. It, uh, the way it zooms in and where how fluid it is, and, and the fact it's actually a globe. I actually really like the way it scrolls through. I hope they, they keep with this style in the future, but no in Paradox, you know, it could be all out the window next game. Or worse, you have to pay $14.99 to unlock globe DLC. Jesus, if you didn't like mana in past Paradox games, uh, you're definitely not gonna like this one because this is a... Uh, that's a lot of mana, jeez. Uh, it's like sort of Paradox was like, oh, what are they angry about on the uh, the reddits and the forums all the time? Are they, well, so they don't seem to be that fond of the mana. Oh, oh, Joe, okay. Add five more different mana types! Oh god, you can even change your golden for mana points now. I can't wait for like the next Paradox game where there's a little dollar sign here which when you click takes you straight to the Steam store for more mana points. Oh, apparently uh, there's a whole new deck system here too and I can go ahead and afford a new invention. But technically if I already know what these inventions are and I'm about to select one, is it really an invention? If I, if I know what a military artisan is but instead I get learning on the job, like, what? This doesn't make sense. Oh, well, sorry, boys. We could only figure out herbalism because we didn't have enough mana points to get oaths of brother. Oh, well, never mind. We, we actually do have enough mana points. But now we don't have enough mana points for humane conduct. Well, we have our first army set up already, and uh, we should probably build a few more. I'm, I'm just not 100% sure exactly what ratio to what I, I need to build because there is a... There is a lot for us to spend money on here. Oh, I just got a mission to go ahead and take over some of the land from these guys, and I don't actually know which province to go for first, but you know, you know what? I, I don't care. Let's just go ahead. I get five tyranny for this. Don't know what that means. Don't care. I honestly have no idea what's about to happen. Oh, I see the enemy army appearing to go over here. Here, so I think we're gonna go ahead and try and get them straight away. Oh, yeah, that's quite a lot of troops. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on a second. They have split up though, so maybe we can engage this army. I have no idea on what level we're about to fight, but they're gonna go get my 1k stack over here, so we'll go ahead and just snake it. Oh, okay, they're already dead. Don't worry about that. I will come in for a for a round two here. Here we go. First battle of the game. Uh, I, I won, I win, I won and win, I'm winning. 
that's easy. First uh, lesson I've learned, it doesn't really matter if you beat one army, it's a paradox game, they'll just go ahead and bankrupt themselves to build a new one pretty instantaneously, so I, I, need, I definitely need to remember to bring two armies next time. Right, so how the hell do these peace deals work then? That was, that was pretty, pretty generous. Well, look at that, Rome's a, a, a bit bigger now, a bit more of a sausage on the map. Uh-oh, I've just found out. <laughs> One of the best features of the game, once again. The map can be turned! However, it's not as great as EU Rome, where if you turn the map, it'll actually stay in that position. So, that's a minus one point for this game, plus ten for EU Rome. Uh, apparently I have starving population. Um, <laughs> which, which mana button do I press to fix this? Ah, I can get myself a new military tradition. I think this is kind of like ideas in EU4, but specifically just for your armies by the looks, which, uh, sure, heavy infantry, I got a lot of that. Oh, I did have a lot of it. I did just lose all my manpower and most of my army in a war, but don't worry about that one. Well, those things are looking pretty good on the map. Unfortunately, in the belly of the beast, things aren't looking too great. A family will be scorned unless we're telling of it. Hold on, is this literally micromanage every single family simulator? What the hell am I supposed to be doing here? I, I, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here, but um, uh, I can imprison the... I, oh, sorry. I don't have the political mana points to imprison the baby. Uh, nothing better than being told that somebody's gained inflammation. Thanks, Fabby. Oh, great. So apparently we have an election coming up soon, and I don't know what the hell any of this really means. I'm hoping it's just as basic as character has positive opinion, character vote for me, but I could be completely wrong. There is all sorts of different factions in here trying to get in power. There's a reason these Roman leaders didn't last too long. They usually, uh get stabbed quite a bit, so what the hell? This guy's my friend, and he's disloyal towards me. I can- I can- <laughs> Have you ever paid mana points before to remove your friendship with someone? Was aggressive expansion really a thing back then? Because I'm pretty sure I remember a guy from Macedon simply winning a couple battles over here, and then he just sort of owned Everything. I wonder how much aggressive expansion <laughs> Alexander the Great got for annexing Persia. Oh, uh, Vesuvius erupts, and uh, well, we kind of know what happens to Pompeii, don't we? Uh, that's, that's not really my problem yet. Oh, uh, you know what they say, boys? All roads lead to Rome, and uh, it makes it a lot easier to decide which road you want to take to Rome because currently there's there's only one, and it does end by going into the sea. Now, I don't know what our greatest threat to our civilization's doing, which is Carthage, but it doesn't appear to be doing that much. I haven't seen them expand anything, and their leader is called Bebchel Metalid, who is, um... Not exactly as threatening as Hannibal, that's for sure. So far, the gameplay has been pretty simple. I, uh, I get some manpower, I, I build the armies up, I go in, I take them over, and then I lose all the manpower, I wait for the armies to rebuild, I get the manpower, I go in, I take over, I lose all the manpower. Yeah, you get the picture. Oh, great. Pirates of the damn Caribbean. There you go, if you ever wanted to know what the Roman era Johnny Depp was, it's Cletus. Cletius Helladid. Hey, if we ever wanted to see how the Navy works in a Paradox game, here we go. I'm sure it's gonna be as... intuitive as about everything else. Look, the green bar's going down and I'm... Am I losing? We won. Congrats, everyone! We did it! Oh, dude, I can either get two citizens or four slaves. Well, of course it's gonna be four slaves! Who do you think I am? Don't mind me, just using the power of left-clicking to convert everybody to my religion. Oh, apparently there's been a civil war somewhere in Frinatiaia. Not sure where that is. Not really interested either. Although, saying that, I did realise it's right here and they're not currently allied to anyone, but uh, unfortunately I don't have enough <laughs> I don't have enough mana to get a claim on them, so maybe another day. Oh yeah, you know it's a good day when you can trade both assault and olives. Truly we are living in the age of decadence over here in Rome. What if we combine them though? Salty olives. 
Why can we only trade one at a time? Why can't I trade a bit of salt and a bit of olive? Oh, what? Screw it. I can't be bothered waiting around to get enough scroll mana to go ahead and get a claim on these people. But here we go. We're going in. I'll take the stab here and I'll take your land too. Oh, this piece off will increase your rank to major power. Which I... What the hell was I before then? Oh, that's good. Now I'm a major power. I can change governor policy cost minus 20%. Yeah. Oh, what better way to celebrate than a civil war? Well, oh, just like EU Rome. <laughs> Here we go. I am legitimately getting EU Rome PTSD flashbacks right now. It is not even funny. Well, civil war's over. Uh, didn't really accomplish much. I don't think our little buddy Carthage is really doing too great. They're kind of just getting pushed out of spec- I mean, they got pushed down by someone called Iburania. He's led by a woman. God, what is this? Yeah, boy! No, now I can't understand why Romans were always so depressed. It's just sort of endless conquering for the point of conquering. There's no real- purpose to it there's no no real you know end goal we'll just sort of keep going just to keep going just to, like look at any statue of julius caesar he looks very depressed oh, sorry i meant impressed no sorry impressions he got stabbed that was it oh so maybe romans weren't depressed all the time they were just murdered a lot well 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 mr carthage wants my fish do they well there's nothing i can stop you because i actually do like money oh i could do that one look a little child is born and he has the exact same hairline as alex the rambler <laughs> can i imprison him so i'm just taking a quick look around the map now see if anything's really happened and uh this place still just a big cancerous blobs everywhere there's uh, the Seleucids broke up which is pretty interesting Egypt's not really done anything Carthage like I said has lost some land might have gained some too I can't really tell but most importantly what the hell's going on in India Bindasora Mororia the wolf is going absolutely ham and he has his Gucci chain to go with it oh I didn't even know they have the uh, the Bactrians who are actually the Greek descendants over there too maybe that'd be fun to play as maybe we should do that next that that sounds probably a lot more interesting than just uh Rome because uh, at the moment uh, I'm I, I'm feeling pretty done already <laughs> but yeah so far my impressions just seem to be uh pr pretty mixed honestly uh, some some aspects I do like I do like the graphical interface I I don't really like all of the UI. It feels very, very cluttered and very big in my face, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. Maybe some guys like that, some guys don't, but specifically for me, I'm not a big fan. On top of that, there's nothing really of substance in the gameplay I've noticed that's really made me interested. It's very map painty, and usually I have no problem with map painty games. They are indeed fun, but I think because of the era and the fact that it's just that there's not really any power blocks obviously stopping Rome. Uh, it's just, it's not what I'd consider fun. Obviously, there's not really anything that, you know, should be stopping me because I am Rome. But, um, at the same time, uh, I just, I don't know if I'm really enjoying this. I, I mean, I've played for a few hours now and I've, I've conquered all of this stuff, but... Could I really foresee myself bothering to conquer all of France or Gaul or Spain or Spania? Do, do I really want to do that? No. Not really, <laughs> not at all. I, I, I've got to this point in the game and I'm already feeling like, yeah, you know, that's enough of your boy. Yeah, I think with that, I, I'm gonna leave it off for now. I will try out another few other nations, maybe ones that are a little bit different, like Bactria. Bactria might be fun, or Macedonia. Not really uh, Spartaboo, because uh, Arius Agiadla here literally looks like a tanned piece of leather. But yeah, nonetheless, this is my first game in Imperator Rome. A lot of people kept asking, Hey, Isaro, where's Imperator Rome? Why haven't you done anything yet? And uh, I just wasn't really that interested in the game. And after playing it... Uh, <laughs> that expectation... It's still there. But you know what? We'll, we'll leave it off for today. I'll probably play a couple more games on recording and off recording and we'll see where we get with this. But for now, I'd say it's a middle of the ground game. About a 6 out of 10, something like that. Nothing special, nothing terrible, just not 100% what I'd really play, honestly. But um, anyway, until next time guys, if you enjoyed the video, you uh, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Why not leave me a recommendation on who you think would be fun to play in this game and... 
uh, it doesn't really matter because you're just gonna say, hey, ISP, play, boy!